Celeron G470, a CPU that I thought never existed. I came across this CPU when I was helping someone with their PC. Long story short, I fixed their computer, they were really happy, and they gave me a bunch of old hardware that they didn't need anymore, and this is where I got this processor from. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the specs of this CPU. Celeron G470 is a single-core, double-threaded CPU that came out in 2013. It has no turbo boost whatsoever, and it runs at mere 2 GHz. Now, a single-core processor is nothing to be amazed by, but the interesting part is that this CPU is for LGA1155 socket. In other words, it is meant for the same motherboards that support 2nd and 3rd gen Intel processors. In 2024, one core and two threads is barely enough for an operating system to function properly. For testing, I used Windows 10, and before I get into the benchmarks and whatnot, let me say that it took hours to install the operating system. It took minutes to open applications, and it almost took a whole day to open some games, like Halo Infinite or Control, to be met with an error message in the end saying that it wouldn't even load for whatever reason. So let's just say that it was quite an adventure to test this CPU in modern era and discover a bunch of new errors that I've never even seen before. For the benchmarks I chose three games that were, let's say, semi-playable with semi-acceptable frame rate. To be honest, I didn't even think that I would be able to play anything on this processor, really. But why don't we just jump into the benchmarks and see how it performs. For the test rig, I chose H61 motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM in dual channel, a SATA SSD, and an RTX 2060 to make sure that our GPU does not hold us back. We're gonna start with League of Legends. In this game, we're playing on medium settings at full HD resolution. Now, since our CPU is the bottleneck, it won't matter if we change the resolution or the graphics of the game. Considering how weak this CPU is and how simple of a game we're playing, I'm still impressed that we can play League of Legends without any issues. In terms of FPS, depending on what's happening on the screen, we have somewhere between 40 to 80 FPS. The loading times are not that bad either, it does take a minute or two to load into a game of League of Legends, but overall I would say that it is quite playable and I'm happy that people can still play this game on a hardware like this. Our next game is GTA 5. Now the loading times in this game were terrible, it took around 20 to 30 minutes to load into the story mode. The graphics are set to high and the crowd density is set to minimum so that our CPU doesn't have to work as hard. And right off the bat we are already seeing below 20 FPS, and a bit of stutter every now and then. This stutter gets even worse when you try to drive around because then the CPU has to work harder and has a lot more things to load. Like now for example, there's obviously something blocking our way, but the CPU has not loaded the object yet. Things like this make the playing experience much worse than the stutters and low FPS because if you're desperate, I guess you can somewhat deal with low FPS and stutters, but when the things are not loading in front of you, that might prove a bit more problematic than other things. Overall, I would say that GTA 5 is not quite playable on this CPU. Let's move on to another game, Doom Eternal. Now, I knew this game was well utilized, but I never would have thought that it would perform this well on a single core CPU. The stutters are pretty much non-existent. The areas where there is not a lot going on, we get around 40 to 50 FPS. In fights where there's a lot of shooting and a lot of stuff gets loaded every second, we get around 30 FPS, and even when it goes below that, it still feels playable. Of course the response time is not as great, this is a shooter after all and having a huge delay on your commands might be the difference between living and dying, but considering what CPU we're gaming on, this is not half bad. I'll even go as far as to say that this is great. We are playing Doom Eternal in 2024 on a single core CPU with a frequency of 2 GHz. And by the way, the loading times here were really amazing. We were able to load into the game in less than a minute. I guess this proves how well utilized the game actually is. 
All in all, this CPU left me more impressed than not. I honestly thought that I wouldn't even be able to play any game at all. When you compare the statistics of the CPU to Core 2 Duos and Core 2 Quads from many years before the Celeron got released, a question begs to be asked. Why on earth would you release such a weak CPU in 2013, when we already had better CPUs in 2006? I honestly do not understand, hence why I wasn't aware of the existence of this processor. But anyhow, this is it for today's video. I hope everybody enjoyed this quick little review of Celeron G470. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.